I think that this world, it needs men that are willing to make the hard call. That's what I think. I think you and me are the same. We're the same. You know it. Only I do the one thing that you can't. You hit them and they get back up. I hit them and they stay down. It's permanent. I make sure that they don't make it out on the street again. I take pride in that. Let me ask you this. What's that? What about hope? Oh, fuck. Come on, Frank. Santa Santa Claus? You want to talk about Santa Claus? I live in the real world, too, and I've seen it. What have you seen? Redemption, Frank. It's real. And it's possible. The people you murder deserve another chance. What, to kill again, rape again? Is that what you want? No, Frank, to try again, Frank. To try. And if you don't get that, there's something broken in you you can't fix. And you really are a nut job. You're unhinged, Frank. You are. You think God made you a one-man firing squad. (laughs) But you're wrong. There is goodness in people, even in you. And you're gonna have to kill me because I'm never gonna stop coming for you until I take you down. You wanna know why? Why is that? Because you're insane. (laughs) Someone tells me that you don't take him down because, like, he has his own show. Your boss said she could take down a firm like ours pretty quickly. She wasn't lying. She could also take down someone like you. ADA Elliot James took the fall after Reyes mishandled informants in the uh, Teller case about a year ago. Chris Davidson fired after the state Supreme Court disqualified your entire office from the Pell case due to widespread misconduct. But not everyone got fired. See, Reyes walked out in one piece. She's good at throwing people to the wolves. So sure, she can take down Nelson and Murdoch this month. But how long? before you are getting pulled into the shit with the rest of us. I want protection for Nelson and Murdoch. We're small. We can't survive getting thrown to the wolves, not without your help. After what happened today, someone's gonna crash and burn, and I need to know that that won't be us. You have information on the Punisher? That's classified. Do I look like I'm gonna post it on YouTube? Your boss is threatening to disbar my (laughs) friends and dismantle our law firm. So you expect me to implicate the DA on purpose? And you cannot come into my office asking me to betray my boss. Throwing around allegations about this department, you cannot substantiate. And you will not contact me again. No emails, no phone calls, nothing. And then, Miss Page. Happen often. It's been a bad week. Oh, shit. Put it down. Oh, God. Put it down. Back off. Hey, asshole. How many priors you got? What'd you say to me? I asked you about your priors. Yeah, keep talking shit. I'll check you into ICU myself. You got face tattoos, friend. That's like telegraphing, I know what prison meatloaf tastes like. I got a hunch you got more mug shots than baby pictures back home. Man, who are you? I'm the pro bono suit you'll try to retain after you go down for this. Only not even my soft-hearted partner will take your case. Not because you're so badass, but because you're just that stupid. I could ask you to look at the faces of the other patients, every last one of them scared to death, but I'm guessing that neither one of you could give a collective shit. So I'm gonna do what attorneys do best, an appeal to your selfish natures. If you carve each other up now, in front of these witnesses, with cops right outside, You're screwed. I can't just walk away, man. I'm not asking you to lose the oh-so-serious stink eye. Just don't fight. Go foggy. Son of a bitch. 357. One round in the chamber. Only way you stop me is with the headshot. I'm not going to shoot you. Nope. Not yet, you're not. Time to put a face to all your fancy talk about redemption. Elliot Groot, a.k.a. Grotto. I don't want to die. <clears throat> what did you do to him? Just you tell him a little bit about yourself? You have no right to do this. I'm nothing. I'm just nobody. Oh, yeah, not all. I pour their drinks. I drive their cars. You were doing a little more than that a few months ago. <clears throat> what are you trying to prove, Frank? You're trying to step up. No. What, no. Who, who are Lafayette you? Street, second floor. Why don't you tell him what happened? I'm only going to ask you one more time. Ah! Ah! I didn't know it was an address, this guy. I didn't even know his name. He, he got wobbly with the wrong people. Owed something to somebody because the order came from on high. Yeah. What orders? That's what you can't say no to. Say the words. <laughs> say the words, <laughs> asshole. I did it. I killed him. I killed him. I put two in his head. Oh. But I, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. 
I didn't know the old lady was in the house. Uh, what old lady? I didn't know she was in the house. She was supposed to be in the house. She started screaming. I need her to stop. What did you do? She saw my face. I had no choice. You still think this piece of shit is worth saving? I'm not going to shoot him. I will. If you don't kill me first. Wherever our friend's spending the night, it ain't in a hospital. He's going to be fine. I've seen him in action. Hey, you're good this with place people. place cleared out? Yeah, I'm a real charmer. I'm serious. The only thing I ever saw stop a thug mid-fight was a big thug. Yeah, I like to keep it thuggish. Matt made a mistake when he let you go. <laughs> what makes you think he did? Five! Oh, shoot him! Shoot him! Four! Oh, shoot. Hey, I'm gonna hand him over to the police myself. You don't do it, his death's on you. Either way, you're a killer. Two! What kind of choice is that? The kind I make every time I pull the trigger. Ah! 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 Why didn't you stop him? I'm sorry. He doesn't kill. <laughs> Get your shit. have to have. He just took out Punisher and like freaking 30 guys. Season 2, Episode 3, titled New York's Finest. Um, that was a really long, cool fight scene. Um, I gotta pray. I gotta praise that. It was pretty good. Um, I understand his, like, reasoning behind things. Like, I, I often do think in, like, TV shows, um, 
um, like when you know you've got one character's like no killing, and then one character's like yeah, but like if you did, you wouldn't have all these problems. It's like when Batman puts away the Joker and he gets out in a week, and then he hurts and kills people. Like I'm just saying, if he had killed him, that wouldn't have happened. So like I understand that like way of thinking. Um, I personally couldn't do it, but like, what ifs? Um, he seems to only punish people, <laughs> punish, um, that aren't morally good. So at the very least, that's something. I don't know. Does that make me morally wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, oh, oh.